Today I want to take you along as I create a looping animation in 3D. I'm currently working on a focused tutorial on how to animate walk cycles that will be available on my Patreon page. When you see this video, that should already have come out over there, and there's a link for that below. But for that video, I want a subject and a scene that we can apply it to. So you guys get to tag along today as we create a full artwork that features that walk cycle. I want this piece for the demo to be an artwork on its own so that the viewer can get a good example for how it can be applied to a scene and also, I guess, feel inspired to try something on their own. I like to take the chance when I can to do a little bit of world building. And as this is a standalone piece, we can really go wherever with this. So that's always quite exciting. I'm thinking sort of a sci-fi robotic thing could be quite fun. Animating a robot leg could actually be quite good. A mechanical animation would be a rigid one, which means no soft tissue to worry about. A quite straightforward way to demonstrate how one animates 3D joints for a walking cycle. I don't really have a clear plan here other than a few ideas, and I'm thinking kind of a two-legged robot vehicle, a bit like the ones from Star Wars, I guess, could be fun. We will see. I'm gonna start up Cinema 4D, uh, do a bit of experimentation, and then we'll take it from there. So, tag along. I've made a leg out of a very simple geometry that I think has an interesting shape. I also created a joint structure that I can apply that geometry to. So that is now linked up so we can do some animation. But I will keep building the full robot first. Obviously there will be two legs, one on either side, but the other will be an inverted copy of whatever I model on this side. For the main body I picked a few details from this model that I created a while back. That was for a commercial job that I did uh, and I just dissected a few parts and I think they might also fit this vehicle. I quite like the idea of having some kind of sun shield up here. Maybe this thing is walking through the desert. Well, we'll see. Let's keep going. Before we keep working, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. For over three years now, I've been using Epidemic Sound to give my YouTube videos the highest quality soundtracks. They have a huge library of music and sound effects that are constantly being updated. I can search by moods to get the right type of vibe. Or through themes and albums if I search for something specific. And once I've found a track that I like to use in my videos, I can easily browse for similar music that Epidemic Sound recommends to me. 
If I like a very specific section of a track, I can use the ear function, which allows me to highlight that specific part and get very detailed with my search for similar music. Adding good music to my videos is a vital part of making them pleasant to watch. And with Epidemic Sound, I don't have to worry about being demonetized or getting flagged for copyright strikes. And I can monetize my videos uh, with a peace of mind and still use the music that I really like. Now, if you're a content creator looking for licensed music and sound effects, then definitely check out Epidemic Sound. Make sure you follow the link in the description to get a free 30-day trial. Everything you post in that trial is also protected, even if you cancel. Now, big thanks to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this segment. Now, back to the video. I've gotten a bit further here from when I last spoke to you. I think the overall shape of the robot is done now. I've added this little platform in the back, which I think could host some characters, maybe. I also got the general animation done for it. So again, if you want to see how to animate a walk cycle, then join me on Patreon. Something I try to do here is to limit details. I will aim to render this very stylized, so I don't want nuts and bolts and any small things to be modeled. We will keep it relatively simple, kind of as if I had to draw it. Because I'm thinking I will render this with line work so that it has that you know, somewhat drawn looking style. What do we think? Um, I think we could get some characters into this next. I want this to look a bit busy, but I can't afford to spend ages on it either. Luckily, I have a plan. I'm going to be using my mocap suit from Rococo to act out some character movements. I'm gonna try to channel the actor that's within me. I'm thinking these guys on top of this robot are having a jolly old time riding it, cheering and partying and so on. And I'm also thinking that it's probably quite a bumpy ride. So I'll try to simulate that bumpiness in my recordings. I just have to keep a constant pace, kind of reacting to the fact that this thing is walking quite unevenly. I think that extra level of detail will add a nice touch to the final animation. So let's suit up. All right, the suit is on. Now let's make sure we roll down the blinds or else my neighbors might think I'm a bit of a nutter. I've created a bunch of different recordings now, so I'll drop these into the scene and see if they fit. For each idea I had, I recorded a bunch of takes, so that if one doesn't work, maybe another similar one will. It's so easy to record using this suit, so you might as well give yourself a ton of options. The software that records the motion of the mocap suit is called Rococo Studio. Here I can preview the recordings and I also have the live feed while recording, which is really awesome. From here I can export my animations to a format that I can then import to my scene in Cinema 4D. So I have now placed out the different character recordings into my scene and the joint structure of the recorded character comes with this simple bass mesh. You might have seen in my previous video using Rococo that I relinked this joint structure to a character model that I had created. I've done the same here for this guy. Uh, this is a character model that I've made available for my Patreons to use. So you can get that from there if you fancy using it. I want to see if an alternative way works here. I will just use this default mannequin that came out of Rococo Studio and build my character on top of that. A bit of a hack method. From a distance, I think this works pretty well. I can just link different geometries to individual joints and they stick to them. So that works pretty good here actually. Makes for quite nice hands, I think. Don't have to remodel that and link that up. I used an old helmet asset I made from when I first created the character model. Just throwing things together here really. I've also given the full vehicle some colors 
Uh, I'm going to eventually render this unshaded so all the materials here are dead simple. Pure colors only. Instant rendering around here. In Cinema 4D there's a tool called Sketch and Tune which allows me to render outlines of the 3D models. Super handy to give it a more stylized look. So the first render pass will look like this. Solid colors and outlines. Sometimes I render these separate but here it worked quite well together. I've disabled the outlines for some elements like the heads of the characters as the lines just don't add a nice look to that. Sketch and Tune is very useful for hard surface stuff I find, so for a robot or a vehicle it's perfect. Secondly I will render a pass that defines the lighting of the scene. We're going for sharp and cartoony shadows here. No gradients or blends, all adding to that stylized look. To achieve that I have a single light source in my scene that is a infinite light or a distant light, basically representing the sun. I've cranked it up to an insanely bright amount and then replaced all my materials of the scene with a simple white one. And that then renders a harsh black and white matte like this. These two render passes I have can now be combined in After Effects where I can finalize my scene. Now I have stressed this a little bit and I feel that I could have introduced another color perhaps to some parts of this vehicle. It's all very white at the moment, maybe some logo or written text on it or something else. But you know what, I think I will call it here anyways. For the background I made a gradient for the sky in Photoshop and painted some clouds. And I also painted a tiled sand texture that I dropped into Cinema 4D again and aligned with the floor so that the robot is walking along a ground plane. I rendered that separately so that I can add it to the scene in After Effects. I guess it could look cool if the feet of the robot sunk into the ground a bit or that we could see some footsteps in the sand leaving like trails behind it. All things that we could add but unfortunately I'm out of time. We got some dust particles now flying over the ground, as well as some grain added to the full scene to tie it all together. This is the final animation. I like how easy this Rococo mocap session went and how well that worked to act out as if I was on board of this thing and get that bouncy reaction of my characters. I think if they were just calmly standing up there without any reaction to how much this thing is rocking back and forth, uh, that would look a bit odd. Let me know what you think about this workflow. Also give me ideas about upcoming topics we can tackle here on the channel. It's always fun to hear from you as well. So leave that in the comments below. Now obviously have a look at my Patreon page to see the full video about the walking cycle. And if you're interested in this suit I was using in this video, then you can go to rococo.com and check out that. There's links to all of this below. Now massive thanks to my Patreons for their continued support. Um, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube as well. If you haven't, uh, like this video, do all that stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.